So you know what ticks me off? By the way, it's like um, 126 a.m. 8-8-2018. But, um, <clears throat> so I made some fajitas earlier and I mean, I think I gave two, like, little tacos to um, somebody, well, a couple people, and I've had, I think it was, like, 1.97, almost two pounds, right? And um, I had, I don't know how many, like, four, five or something, but I I had another one, and in my chest, it's like, poom, 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 poom. I think it was, like, 137 over 91 or something, plus 113. Uh, but I can feel my chest is like, ooh, 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 ooh. You know? I don't know. I've had that before, but I don't get that much. And it scares me because it's almost like my heart's stressing or something. It might be. Um, oh, God. I hope I don't have a heart attack or something. Um... I don't know. Um, yeah, it's hard. Oh, I don't think you see. But it's beaten. Probably gonna take a bath. A uh, bath shower. I usually take a bath and then I take a shower, but... I soak for a little bit, but... But yeah, it feels like it's like my my heart is like well like instead of like it does make sense, but it just feels like it's knocking. Ugh. Kind of feels like that, like when I'm going up a hill or something, or when I've really been, you know, done the um like jogging or whatever I just you get to that point you're just like ugh like you feel it in your chest um I don't know what this video is going to be about <clears throat> I guess besides that but I'm probably going to try to take a bath and try to shave if I can um I got an appointment with my doctor um uh, at 420 tomorrow so I gotta leave around at least, probably, um, at least, probably 140. Well, 130, should I say. Get the 140 bus and then. Oh no, 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 no. Damn it, bro. Like, because if I left up, because if the bus took off at. Well, look, if the bus took off at 120 or whatever, and I caught the um, 107 or 116 bus, or I should. Oh my god, dude. My heart, man. Or my chest or something. I think it's my heart. I haven't seen my diastolic that high. Not not in a few days. I don't know what it is, but yeah, because if I if I take off at you know one something, catch the bus, the first bus, and then take the second bus, which usually shows up at I mean yeah. Dude, I can like fill my chest, bro. Well, this is scary, like the way it feels. Kind of reminds me of like when your heart is racing, you're you just can't like just too much exertion, like when you're running or something or going up a a lot of flights of stairs. But yeah, so if I took off at one. And caught the second bus by 135, or even 140 or whatever. 
Um, and then I go to my doctor's office. I should be there before 2.20. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I'm talking about 4, bro. 4.20. So if I, if I took off around 3, got that bus by 3.35, yeah, I could show up. But some of these buses, they're on a... Uh, they take their time, you know? And then they got attitudes. So, I don't know. Um, but what I want to try to do, if, if I'm not having a heart attack, I don't know. Like, it feels weird. It's like... My heart is just... It's screwed up right now. I don't like it. It feels like a heart attack or something. I'm actually getting tired too. Yeah, I think it was just that, that food that I had. I don't know. But I think it was like, yeah, I'm getting tired, so my heart must be stressing or something's stressing. But yeah, you see how it's 137 over 91 plus 113. I don't know what it is now. But I'm getting tired. Like, I'm really starting to feel tired. So, but what I want to do, hopefully everything's good tonight. Is I want to try to get my, um, some of my, uh, UHS, uh, uh, I want to get some of my uh, medical records. And um, I want to take my pathophysiology book. I'm like, look. Oh my God, dude. Like, my heart feels bad, bro. And I'm all of a sudden, like, feeling really tired. My, my pulse is fast. <clears throat> yeah, I'm feeling really tired right now. It's from this heart. I think it is my heart. And my heart stressing. I was good till I ate that food. Still have a half an avocado. You know? I don't know what I'm going to do, and I don't really have lemon, and even if I had lemon, I couldn't really use it because it uh, screws my uh, pulse pressure. It lowers it. Um, but yeah, I'm like really tired right now. Like really tired. But yeah, I mean, I've had like four or five of these, and I haven't eaten in like a while. Uh, probably about a couple hours or so and I just made one you know I don't know if I made one or if I made two I think I just made two I don't know like I feel like I'm gonna pass out like I'm just tired bro I'm really drowsy yeah that's what it is, is I'm drowsy but yeah I had that I put some avocado in there which I had just a little bit ago and then all of a sudden I just started to have like chest pain I still got it kind of in sight this is what I'm talking about I don't know what the hell is going on But I have a heart attack, man. 
I say it like this, that like if you're having chest pain and now all of a sudden you're getting like really drowsy. It's not right. But I go to the doctors, the hospital, and they're just like, oh, you're fine. I don't know. I'm going to try to get off of this and um, try to take a bath or whatever. Maybe my body will start relaxing or something. I don't know. Try to shave, take a shower, get ready for bed. It's already 137. I'm I'm really tired right now. I mean, my chest isn't hurting as bad as it was. My arm is kind of feeling um, achy. Um, but yeah, I'm tired. The way I feel, I don't want to take my blood pressure. You know, I wish I could get like an EKG machine. Just to see what my, um, what my stuff is. To see if it's coming back. You know? I don't know what's wrong. But yeah, I, I just wanted to, um, I guess just do this. Maybe the food is just messing with my heart or something. I don't know. But like it felt like, um, like too much heart exertion. You know, sometimes like when a person continuously walks up a hill or something or is just kind of burning themselves out because they're jogging for too long or whatever. That's what I feel like. Now my whole body's kind of, my whole body's aching. Oh! What the f Oh, my body's aching, like both of my arms. It's like it hurts. Oh my God. I don't... What? What the fuck? It's like both of my arms are achy. I mean, it could be my heart. It could be. I don't know what to do, dude, besides blow my fucking brains out, like, you know, and that's, that's what's horrible, dude. That's horrible to have to think about, like, like, the only option you got is to kill yourself. You know? I mean, I just don't get it. I don't. I don't understand how, you know, we're taught that if there's something wrong with you, suck it up, buttercup, you know, or go to the doctor's office. You know, I can kind of feel it right here. Um, well, yeah, it's in the middle. It's kind of like a pulsation, sort of. But, um, 
I mean, you go to the doctors and automatically they just say you have mental issues. I'm just like, what? what, what? You know, it's... I just know, like, it's not like it used to be. It's not. Like, when I used to go to the doctor when I was a kid, I never got t- treated like this. I mean, I probably did. I just didn't realize it. You know, but I didn't have any illness. If I did, we didn't know about it. I just, you know, sometimes I would get sick. Or I'd play hooky and there was nothing wrong with me. You know, I wonder how many times I, I played sick and actually got shots or um, took drugs, like medications that they prescribed me. Probably it was so stupid I probably actually took it. When there was nothing wrong with me. It's like taking antibiotics just to get out of school. That's bad. That's very bad. I hope I didn't do that, but... Who knows, I probably did. Oh, I got like chest pain. It's a weird chest pain. It's like taking your a finger or something, you're just like... You know? Like, kind of like, you go back here. But it's like in the chest. Um, I kind of f- feel clammy as well. But you know, that's the thing. I go to the hospital and they're just going to be like, Oh, you're fine. There's something wrong. Your EKG's fine. I mean, dude, there's something wrong. Like, get off your ass. Do something, bro. I mean... I don't know why I'm sick. I don't know what the hell I did. I don't know why the Lord keeps me sick. You know, I wish I knew exactly what I could do to get better. And I don't think I'm ever going to get better. I mean, I'm trying to think positive, but... I don't think I'm ever going to get better. I really don't. I mean, I think I'm just... You know, I'm going to the doctors, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, or whatever, to try to get better. I just feel like a weird, I don't know how to describe it. My pulse is quick though. I mean, I kind of, I still got the aching, but it's not as bad. My mind just feels, I don't know, like it's going south right now. It's weird. It's not like I can't think like earlier but it's um I don't know how to describe it it's not a good feeling though kind of feels like I'm gonna hit my head which is weird because I think I had that like earlier today yesterday or whatever but I don't know like you know, I go to the doctors, I do this and I do that because, I mean, what else am I going to do? You know? I mean, my health is completely fucked. Completely fucked, right? You know the funny thing about this uh, this book right here? is look at the picture like come on how many people are actually looking at the food actually I I had to like I wasn't even looking at the food like I kept looking at this chick and her cleavage <laughs> like I actually had to like look down like oh you know like those pictures it's like you didn't even see the dog did you like you got the you got the girl with the big boobs and then it's like you get the dog in the background <coughs> 
And they're like, well, if you looked at the chick's boobs, you're a perv or something. I don't know. I want to try to... I just... I just... I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to fucking do. I'm trying to fucking get better. Like, I just... I don't understand that. Is I have dealt with so... So, so many people do that uh, through this health stuff. So many people. I've had people, I feel like I'm going to pass out. I, I've dealt with people who are just assholes and right off the bat, they don't even do anything. They just say, oh, well, you have mental issues. You know, I've dealt with people that eventually say that or whatever. I've dealt with people that just don't do anything in general. And I've dealt with like, you know, I've talked to so many people, like, about my story, just like this. You know, like, when I first got sick, I'm like, look, I'm sick, and they're not doing anything. You know, I've had so many, like, you know, I'm so sorry that you're going through this, and I pray that you get better, and, you know, and I'm like, I appreciate it. Like, you know, I want to get better. Like, I have talked to so many people in my life about my health issues. And now it's like, and that's when I still had, like, I wasn't like so brainwashed. It's not even brainwashed, but it's like I talk about the same shit all the time. Like to be honest, outside of health, I don't really know anything else. I mean, I know a lot of shit, but I like you know when you're so like isolated for so long and you're dealing with health issues for so long, it's really all you know is health issues. It's really hard to come up with anything else besides health issues, you know, especially when you can't really remember after a day or two. I don't know, I feel like really weird right now, like really weird. My whole body feels clammy and because of the AC's on and everything's feeling cool, but I was fine prior to that. Um, I just don't get like how I can ask for help. You know, you know what I don't get is I can understand the doctors. They don't really do much of anything. <clears throat> um, they don't really do much of anything. Oh wow! Oh, be glad I don't pass out. I almost feel like I just need to go to sleep. Like, I can feel it in my chest, though. It feels like... Like that. I can't believe that. Sorry about the lighting. I can't believe that, though. You know, sad thing, look at that. It's probably going to oxidize. But I can feel it. It's like a... This is what I was eating. I'm just like so out of it right now. I am so out of it right now. I'm gonna wash dishes. I guess I'll do them tomorrow because I just don't feel well right now. It's weird how I just got like tired like I am.
Hold on. You know, I almost like just want to like do like a playlist or something. I don't want a playlist, but just like go back from the beginning. And even if like I don't watch the videos, just hit, listening to my voice. I mean, it's gonna kind of be hard though because you know these are YouTube videos, and you know like if you. Uh, close the browser. Well, I mean, I think they got that uh, subscription thing you can do. And you can listen to music, but that's just music. I don't know if you can do, like, videos like this. Um, yeah, I don't know. Got 4%. This is pretty much what I do. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with me. Do this. Like, you know, when I'm sick or whatever. Not really like this, but when I'm sick, I just try to clean. You know? I just try to clean. Just do that tomorrow. I'm gonna drop this thing in a second. I don't know, maybe it's just like my um see look at this. I got these uh tortillas. Flour tortillas. I guess they're like homemade or something, I don't know. I mean they're not homemade, but H E B made. Contains wheat and milk. Oh lord. See, that's what really makes me think about my so-called lactose, which is interesting because I think I was tested for lactose and it came back negative. Fucking son of a... Whoa, dude, I can feel that in my chest. I can really feel that in my chest, bro. When I said those words. But no, son of a bitch on the, on the part of... No, because there's this kid that... Um, I don't know, whatever, you know, just butt hurt issues or whatever. And I got my phone, I was like, okay, dude, you want your five, you want your 5,000, like, like, I was just like, his drama, I'm like, just fuck it, dude, I'm gonna give you your $5,000 in chips. I mean, it's, it's a, well, you could pay money for it, but, you know, it's just a game. Um, it's like $25,000, $30,000, uh, for like a couple dollars or something off your card, but. I mean, some of that I won, but most of it I played. I think I got about like, well, I, I think I had like $90,000 of chips. So I won a lot of that, but I also paid a lot as well. Well, I paid well, probably about $5. But I was like, you know what, fuck it, dude. I'm just going to give this dude, you know, I'm going to play him and then I'm going to like, I'm going to, it, it was pull, right? Is a game of pull, uh, eight ball or something. It's like you know what, screw it, dude. So I was gonna play him, and then he's like, "Well, I just don't have the the chips, man. I don't have the money, man." Okay, so you're bitching, you're all pissed off because of whatever. No, he wanted to play all these other games. But anyways, um, I dropped my phone, and it's uh. It really cracked my, um, the glass in the, uh, the lower left corner. Um, pretty bad, actually. I mean, I can see, but it's starting to look like, uh, you know, how people crack their stuff. I don't know, I got a feeling like, I think this is, I think it's affecting my heart. Of course, I do. I think it's affecting my heart, but... I don't know. I can feel it. Like I can feel the 
all right here. Oh, I got a lot of stress and tension, as well as my back, my face. <coughs> God. You know, usually I just drink tea, but it seems like tea gives me issues as well. Excuse me. <clears throat> but yeah. I think I'm going to crack my back and then I'm going to get off. <laughs> crack my back and then get off. I really got to stop saying get off. <laughs> it just sounds dirty. It really does. Yeah, but I think I got to crack my back. What I usually say, I'm like, I'm like oh, okay, I think I'm going to, I'm about to get, oh my gosh. See, this is like, this is the stuff, like, people think that, you know, I just read about, the, well, I kind of do this read about the same shit, but it's like all different, you know, sometimes the videos are the same, but sometimes you get sneak peeks about whatever I'm doing, you know, my mind is so screwed up right now, man, uh, I think it's time to take off my clothes, dude. Uh, but I tell you, man, one thing that really pisses me off is I don't even have kids. And I'm, that's like the way that I'm thinking right now. So what if I had kids? The way my health is right now, like... I don't know. Like, I'm not really thinking about myself. I mean, I am, but I'm more thinking about what if I had kids? What if I had a wife or a girlfriend or whatever? You know? Better yet is I wonder what these doctors think about family units. You know? That's what I think. What do they think about families? What if I had a family? Would I get the same treatment? You know, like, would I, would I get the same treatment as I am now? Or would that treatment be a little more professional? Like, hey... You know, this, this person has a wife, this person has kids. You know, I want to be around for my kids, man. I mean, I'd like to actually have a couple kids, but yeah. As far as not, I don't have any, but I don't know. I have been sexually taken advantage of a couple times, so. But, you know, cops don't really seem to care. Which is really sad if you think about it. I don't know why you wouldn't care about a person's sex. You know, and the fucked up thing is, is like when I ejaculate, when I, um, not regular ejaculate, but like, say, you know, I'm just like getting some booty or something from a girl. Smashing that coochie. You know, when I really get that um, orgasm, I start bleeding. About uh, a few years ago, I was sleeping like a naked dumbass, and this chick, like, I woke up and she wanted to go take a piss or whatever. And next thing I know, like, you know, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna. Because I had like a little bottle or whatever. You know, men do this shit, right? I had a little bottle and I went to piss. I was like, oh my God, what the fuck? You know, and I noticed, and I don't think I noticed. Like, I was just like, oh my God. And I waited until she got out and she went in. 
the, the living room or whatever. And I went to go take a piss and I noticed I had like all kinds of blood and shit. You know, it's funny because she actually had her, her hand was actually cut. Well, she had blood on her hand. She's like, oh, that's not your blood. That's my blood. You know, I don't know. Maybe she had a fucking kid. Maybe she got herself pregnant. Right? Maybe she got herself pregnant and then, you know, sold the kid. I don't know. You know, I'll never know. But uh, I just think, like, everything she said was a lie, dude. I wake up naked. Well, I mean, I should have woke up naked. But I woke up naked. And then I look, like, under my covers and there was blood there. So, I mean, it was fresh as well. And then she had fucking blood on her hand. The dry blood. I mean, are you fucking stupid? I, and, I mean, I waited a while. But I fucking called the cops. I mean, it shouldn't matter. And I, I called the fucking, I called SAPD. And they came over and the only thing they could say is, are you on medication? I'm like, what the hell, what that, what the hell difference does it make? And it's like, well, that makes all the difference, blah, blah, blah. And like, they didn't follow the report, dude. Like, they didn't do the report at all. Like, I was sexually assaulted, man. You know, it was, it was almost like, oh, well, I'm just asking for it because I was, you know, sleeping naked. You know, I mean, are you fucking serious? I was asking for it because I was sleeping naked. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? But yeah, I called the, the case number one time and they said that it was like somewhere completely like on the other side of town, which actually is the side that I live on now. <clears throat> you know, I'm just like, wow, dude. I mean, I got sexually assaulted. It doesn't matter if it was fucking the first day or within the statute of limitation or whatever. I don't know if there's a statute of limitation, but bro. I don't know. And then I um, get with my ex again, which we've been on and off for about 10 years. And um, she did some screwed up shit with me. She all had to like, she wanted to have a baby and all this other shit. And I mean, her tubes are tied, but. You know, I don't know. I, I just think, to be honest, um, let's just say after, like, within an hour or two after, you know, giving her the, the jewels and the cooch, uh, her and her little uh, dyke girlfriend take off, and, um, yeah. So, I mean, I, I don't know. I just thought it was weird because I was like, oh, my God, dude, this chick's pregnant, this chick's pregnant. Before you know it, it's like, this chick actually is pregnant. You know? I mean, who knows? I mean, girls will probably do shit like that, dude. I mean, if I got some good shit, right? You know, just suck it up or whatever. And I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But yeah, I just thought that whole thing was screwed up as well, in general. But yeah. You know, and then the, uh, my ex-girlfriend used to always, like, I don't know, like, I don't know. I just, since those three girls, I've, I've just been a little paranoid. Like, I am not leaving my condoms or anything. Like, I'm selling that shit up and put it in my pocket. Or are you gonna fucking, bitch, you gonna swallow that shit. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Don't spit that shit in a bottle and then go to the fucking bathroom and do whatever the fuck you and then be gone for like a couple minutes. Fuck that shit. I don't know. But anyways, you know, I don't know. I don't I, yeah, and then there was this one chick that I was fucking like years and years and years ago. You know, I don't think we had any kids. And then there was this one chick, like, when I was 18, but, you know, she lied about, you know, taking birth control, and I guess she stopped or whatever. I was like, oh my god, are you fucking serious, dude? Are you fucking serious? Now, I can't believe this has, like, 26, 26, um, 
0.9. Only almost 30% uh, 30% alcohol in here. Wow, dude. I didn't realize that. That is fucking nuts, bro. Anyways, I'm gonna try to. I can't even really balance right now. I feel like I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna jump in the bath and just. I don't know. And just. It's just fucking crazy. Like, what if I got kids out there, man? Or say I want kids, right? Which I do. You know, I want to have the joys of that. And the fucking the craziness of that. You know, all that just in, in general. I mean, I don't know. Like, I haven't just had almost 14 years of my life taken away from me. I've had the whole fucking life taken away from me. There's so many, like, milestones and just things that you go through in that age or age in general you know your 20s and 30s I mean it even starts even before that but I'm just talking about that you know I mean I think the biggest rapist is the doctors for not even trying to care That's a sad fucking thing. That's the real sad thing. You know, I just think you have mental issues. I don't know, like... I don't know, because I she was like, oh, well, you're having anxiety and blah, blah, blah. And I don't know if that was like before or after. I'm like, call my shrink, man. And apparently she called back. I don't know. I guess nobody called back. You know? You know, the sad thing right now is if I wasn't feeling like this, if I was somewhat feeling good, I could get a girl right now. I mean, I can get, t well, I mean, it, I don't know, it just depends. I mean, I can get girls. But, I'm not saying they ain't gonna be drama. Gonna be a lot of drama, actually. be a lot of trouble. I don't know, man. I'm just... I never had this stuff when I was younger. I don't know why I'm sick. You know? I just wish I could be a kid again, man. I wish I could go back to kid days and just... Just have the common sense about different things, right? Maybe I'd be healthy. I know I don't get the nutrition that I need, though. That's for sure. And then I try to actually get help and nobody even cares. But yeah, I mean, I wish I could just find some chick that couldn't get pregnant. Or had like one of those things, whatever, where you can't get pregnant or whatever, and just, you know, just cuddle and fuck and love and all that without having kids. Without having kids, huh? Even though I want a family and 35 years old, I should already have kids. That's 
15 year old and this fucking 20 year old little fucking punk dude. I mean, I was 15 when he was born. This fucking punk dude. I just don't know what to do. I can feel these palpitations, man. <laughs> no, Jonathan, you're not going to kill yourself, buddy. Yeah, no, you know another weird thing though is completely random, but when I piss, I check my pee throughout the day. Well, I guess when I pee, I guess it's just noticeable, right? 32 cup. Wendy's. Agua. But what I've noticed is my pee definitely does not look like this color. Sometimes I just don't want to get up, right? Okay, whatever. This is a little graphic. But you see that? You see that? even though I'm drinking water. You see that? That's not right, dude. I try to drink a lot of water and my piss still looks like that throughout the day. I don't know, man. I wish that I could, uh... I wish I could do something, man. I wish I could, like, make, like, some type of, uh... Another thing, thing about that is say, what if I did have kids, right? Say I had the money and everything and I could go to my doctors and still try to raise my kids, right? Bro, like, I can't fucking eat shit. I can't even drink a soda. I mean, I wouldn't deprive my kids of a soda. I mean, knowing what I know, I would not drink a soda and I would do everything I can, could to like, don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do the soda, man. Like, trust me, you don't, don't be like me. Like. Don't be like me. I can't eat anything, like.
you know, they're just essentially saying ignore my health issues. That's what my shrink says. Just live with your shit. Stop going to the doctors. That's what he says. Pretty much. I just feel like killing myself, dude. I mean, I don't want to die. Trust me, I don't. I'm just not living. And I'm going to the doctors, and they're just not fucking listening. <coughs> but let's all make it like the doctor's victims, and they just don't know shit. No, they know shit. They just don't want to fucking do shit. You know why? I know they know shit. You want to know why? I think they know shit. Got, got lucky on that one. But I mean, I'm sure this is still a book. Anatomy, pathophysi uh, physiology, pathophysiology, whatever. You know? I mean, I have tons of books of these. But, at the end of the day, they don't try to learn me. They don't, they don't seem to care. Unfortunately, I feel like my only hope is winning one of these. Which I know this really hasn't paid off. Got a better chance of playing scratch-offs. I want to get off this thing, dude. My mind is starting to do its thing, and I still gotta, I still gotta shave. I'm gonna be in this tub for a while. Well, I do want to go to sleep. I just, I don't. I almost want to turn that AC to like 65, bro. Seriously. Turn it to 65 and go to sleep. I just, I don't, I, I just don't know what to do. Oh wow, it looks like I got proteins in my urine. It's just, no, foam is not foam, bro. It's proteins. Whoa. Movie frames. I went like that and went up. I was like, <sighs> God, I'm thirsty, dude. This is like a 32 ounce glass. Wow. Drink all that. Wow, I'm, I'm actually thirsty, bro. Bro, this is like 32 ounces. I've literally almost drank 32 ounces right now. I think I'm drinking 16 ounces. Alright, I'm gonna get off this thing. Alright, peace.